question here now. Uh, this is also is to do with uh, Hajj as we're coming into this period. No. Um, how does somebody avoid removing hair when, uh, the question is rather, uh, from the first Dhul Hijjah or just before they put on the Ihram, the brother asks. The question actually is referring to two major issues. Mm-hmm. The first is with regards to one who is not performing Hajj and is given Uthiyah. Mm. There is a sound hadith that uh, Fi Sahih Imam Muslim, the Prophet wasallam said, if one is planning to offer a sacrifice, al uthiyah then generally speaking from the first day of Dhul Hijjah, the month of Dhul Hijjah, until he sacrifices his uthiyah he should abstain from clipping the nails or removing the hair. Only the person who is uh, planning to slaughter this sacrifice. Um, now this is one case with regards to those who are not performing Hajj or Umrah. Mm-hmm. But if the person is performing Hajj, he's exempted from offering the Uthiyah. Then he's only restricted from removing the hair and the nail. He or she is during the state of Ihram. So if he or she have intended to do Hajj al and they offer the Umrah in a couple of hours, once they finish the Umrah, they go to shave or trim their hair, and now they enjoy staying in a state of Tahallul until the eighth day of the month of Dhul Hijjah to assume a new intention of performing Hajj. Unless if they are planning to do Hajj al Quran, mm-hmm. so they do the Umrah and they remain in the same condition of Ihram all the way until they finish the rites of the Hajj. Okay? When the Prophet recommended Hajj al Tamattu actually, uh, even though the scholars differ with regards to the superiority of which type. But whichever Hajj you choose, you choose on, based on what suits your itinerary. So if you're going for instance 10 days before Hajj, why do Hajj al Quran? Why keep in a state of ihram worried about removing the hair or the nail or wearing uh, stitched clothes or showering with scented soap? You just do hajj al tamattu and that's best for you. You do the umrah, you exit from tahallul by shaving or trimming, mm-hmm. then you enjoy the nine days, eight days, uh, staying in tahallul, do the tawaf, uh, recite Quran, pray in the haram, or even go to al-Madina, then return back and on the eighth day make a new intention of performing hajj. That's known as hajj al tamattu. Now, the trick is, what if you're planning, besides doing hajj and offering the hajj, also to slaughter a sacrifice back home? Does the hadith of Imam Muslim apply to you? Yes, it does. Well, what about if I want to remove the unwanted hair and prepare myself prior to ihram? In the hajj step-by-step program, we said that among the recommended things to be taken in mind in consideration before taking the shower and assuming the intention of ihram, clipping the nails, shaving the hair, and remove the unwanted hair and so on. Is it permissible? Yes, it's permissible in this condition because it's a mean of personal hygiene in order to prepare yourself for a higher ritual of the ihram.